fear is boring. Fear leads us to living a life on repeat, the same life, every day, day in and day out, week in and week out. When you live a life in fear, every day is Groundhog Day. Today I will share with you why us introverted entrepreneurs must overcome fear in order to be successful in our businesses. I'm Sarah Lewis, and I am an introverted entrepreneur who has overcome many fears, including shyness in my life. I was the girl in high school who wouldn't raise her hand in class, even though I was getting really good grades. I was the girl who would pet the dog at a party instead of talking to people. And I was the girl who just preferred to stay home on Friday nights rather than go out in big social groups and hang out. So as I've been an entrepreneur for 11 years now, I've had to overcome fears of sales, uh, fears of marketing, fears of networking, all of these fears in order to move my business forward. And today I'll be sharing with you some thoughts that can help you start overcoming fears and making progress. The first idea I want to share with you is that when you learn that you're an introvert, you start accepting that as a label. You know, we have introverts and extroverts in the world, and you can start using that as a label and as a justification for whatever your actions may be or actions that you're not doing that you want to see yourself doing. So, you know, you learn you're an introvert, and what comes along with that is um, this myth that introverts are shy, introverts. Uh, you know, don't succeed in business. Um, introverts can't go on video and talk on video. And I am proof here that you can survive doing video as an introvert because I am one. And to tell you that these, this is just a label and you can use that label of introvert um, to hold yourself back or you can use it just as acceptance of some of your personality traits and and move forward. It doesn't have to be a uh, an excuse for why you can't do things. So I want you to think about yourself 10 years ago. So just think at your life 10 years ago. So let's say you're 33 right now. Are you the same person as you were when you were 23? Chances are probably not. In that 10 year span, you've changed a lot, right? Now if you think about yourself 10 years from now, so at 43 years old, do you think your life and your personality and your values and those sorts of things might be a little different than they are now? Yeah, I would think so too. So the thing is, is that even though you may have learned that you're an introvert, you can change. Like you can see like from the past 10 years of your life that you have made changes. Some of your personality has changed. So I think that we learn that we're introverts and we think that that's completely unchangeable. And maybe some parts of that are, you know, stable and that we will always just kind of be on the quieter side, that we will always need alone time as introverts. However, the, the things that hold us back, like fear, we don't want to equate fear and introversion together because you can change, your personalities do change. And I think if you look at your friends and family over the span of like 10 years, people can change and so can you. So we need to be careful about those things that we're telling ourselves. Well, I can't go on Facebook Live because I'll melt into a puddle <laughs> or I can't go to that networking event because the conversation is just so dry and boring. You know, we say these things to ourselves and we keep repeating them and repeating them and repeating them and then we eventually believe them, even though they're not necessarily the truth. And that's just a protective me mechanism, right? Like, fear is there to protect us. It's a, it's a survival instinct. Way back when, there were saber-toothed tigers who could actually kill you if you weren't paying attention to your surroundings. But now we're afraid of things that can't kill us. We're afraid of going to a networking event, which it, the people there are not violent, right? Like you're, you're not gonna be physically harmed if you go to a, a networking event. Um, we're afraid of doing video because we're afraid of sounding silly or we don't like our own voice or whatever the, whatever the, 
reason may be that we're afraid of doing it, but we can't actually die from doing a Facebook Live. So it's a matter of keeping our fears in check and working on them and realizing that they're holding us down, that our lives are becoming boring, that we're, that we're repeating the same thing day after day and we're lit in fear now has the power over us. So it's time to overcome fear. It's a lot of self work that you have to do. It's a lot of deep introspective work. As an introvert though, I know you may find that interesting and it's not an easy journey, but I know that it's one that you can take. I hope you feel inspired to start working on your fears, to realize that they're holding you down and you're meant for so much more. The world needs you to shine your light and put yourself out there. See you next time.